when you're ready. Good afternoon and welcome to the Boulevard in Hull for this Slalom Lager Championship game between Hull and Warrington. The sides for today's game, the Hull side at one, Gary Kemble. At two, Michael Brand. Three, Gary Schofield. Four, Stuart Vass. At five, Dane O'Hara. Six, Fred Akoy. At seven, Andy Gascoigne. Eight, Lee Crooks. At nine, Lee Jackson. Ten, Trevor Skerritt. At eleven, Carl Arnott. Twelve, Neil Puckering. And thirteen, Wayne Proctor. Substitutes are James Lulawai and Phil Edmonds. The Warrington side is one, Paul Ford. Two, Brian Carbert. At three, Paul Cullen. Four, Ronnie Dwayne. Five, Mark Foster. Six, Paul Bishop. At seven, Andy Gregory. Eight, Les Boyd. Nine, Kevin Tamati. Ten, Bob Jackson. Eleven, Gary Sanderson. Twelve, Mark Roberts. And thirteen, Billy McGinty. Substitutes are Steve Peters and Tommy Gittins. The referees, Mr Tennant of Castleford, his touch judges are Mr Bradley and Mr Turgoose. So Les Boyd in the middle of the pitch, about to be joined by Lee Crooks, the two captains, assisted by the Hull mascot. So the teams will swap round. Warrington will be playing from right to left, playing in the white with the primrose and blue band and the white shorts. Hull in the black and white irregular hoops and the white shorts. And it'll be Warrington to start, Paul Bishop, to get this game underway. And he kicks deep. Well taken though, by Stuart Vass. Stop short of his own 25. Lee Jackson is at his halfback, sends it on to Lee Crooks. Jackson once more. And Warrington penalised, offside. So the first free kick of the game will go to Hull. And the elected tap, Crooks takes the tap. Trevor Skerritt. Jackson once more. Neil Puckering, well tackled though by Bob Jackson. Carries on and makes ground into the Warrington half of the field. Lee Jackson is acting half-back. Sends it on to Gascoigne, Gascoigne to Akoi, on to Lee Crooks. Crooks tries to get the ball away, but brought down in midfield. Jackson once more sends it left. Trevor Skate brought down on the halfway line. Fred Akoi on to Crooks, Crooks selects the kick, Kane comes off a Warrington player. Brian Carbert comes back. And it's brought down by Michael Brand. Ronnie Dwayne will take this one. Goes himself from the play of the ball. Straightens up. Samity this time hands it on to Gregory. Gregory on to Les Boyd. Les Boyd charges in. He's brought down by Neil Puckering. Samity once more on to Gregory. Gregory goes back. On to Brian Carbert. Carbert faced by Brand once more. Brought down on this near touch line. Samity is acting half back. Once again, hands it on to Andy Gregory. Gregory with the kick. Gary Kemble goes for it and picks it up. Coming out of his own 25. Brought down though by Gary Sanderson. Jackson once more, hands it on to Puckering. 3 1 to play though in the tackle, bring him down short of his own 25. Jackson once more. Carl Arnott. Lee Crooks once again. And now Fred Akoy and Andy Gregory have a little argument in the middle of the field. The referee gives the free kick to Hull. Against Andy Gregory for pushing Fred Akoy away. 
And Hull have another free kick. Gary Schofield puts the ball into touch, sets Hull up with the ball once more. Jackson will take it. Skerritt, he's better go by Tamatit. And Jackson, Jackson on to Wayne Proctor. Wayne Proctor stops short of the halfway line. Jackson once again goes himself, looks for the gap. Well tackled though by Bob Jackson. Andy Gascoigne onto Fred Akoy. Akoy onto Crooks. Crooks juggles it, carries on. And Crooks now with a break. And the referee is going to penalise Warrington. As Lee Crooks was through, had Fred Akoy on his left, but he was tackled off the ball. And Gary Schofield puts the ball into touch inside the one 25 and sets them up now on the attack. Trevor Skerritt goes in. Still going, Hull now pressing. In the one 25 it goes on. Chance here now for Wayne Proctor, but he stops just short. Fred Akoy gets the ball away. Warrington then under pressure. Lee Jackson will take this one, sends it out left. Crooks. Schofield. He's well stopped by Paul Bishop and Gary Sanderson. Goes left again. Fred Akoy with a little kick. Paul Ford's underneath it. And takes it well. Well taken there by Paul Ford under pressure. Paul Ford taking that well under pressure from Lee Jackson as Bishop drops out. Gary Kemble will take this one. And will make ground deep inside the one and half once more. Finally straightens up but slips. Finally brought down by Mark Roberts. So Trevor Skerritt being brought down on the one to 25. Lee Jackson. Carl Arnott. Lee Crooks once again, shows the ball and finds the gap once again, on to Andy Gascoigne, Andy Gascoigne though, just brought down by Billy McGinty and Andy Gregory. Once again it's Lee Crooks, Lee Crooks still brought down by Mark Robertson, Ronnie Dwayne this time. But oh, having the early play in these opening minutes, Fred Akoy, Fred Akoy with the kick, Paul Ford comes for it once again, takes it well, and he's tackled. He's up touching goal and Warrington will have to drop out once again. So the early pressure being put on Warrington by Hull. And Paul Bishop drops out once more. Gary Kemble once again takes it safely. Lee Jackson this time. Trevor Skerritt this time, tries to get the ball away but well tackled by Mark Roberts, Lee Jackson's acting half-back, a nice slip pass there, Lee Crooks, the ball goes loose, finally taken by Andy Gascoigne, Fred Akoy once more, hands it on to Carl Arnott and that is a forward pass and a scrum down. So scrum down just inside the one to 25, which Andrew Gregory will feed. Puts the ball in and comes out on the one side, Andy Gregory. So Warrington in possession. Tamati will take it. Hands it on to Mark Roberts. Tamati once again. This time it's Les Boyd. Les Boyd knocks off one man, gets the ball away. Gregory once again, 
On to Paul Bishop, Paul Bishop finds the gap, now Paul Bishop's away, he moves ground inside the whole half, he's got plays up, he gets Ronnie Dwayne, Dwayne though just can't take the pass, Carbett picks it up and knocks the ball on. What a nice break there from Paul Bishop, his pass not taken though by Ronnie Dwayne. And that will be a scrum down. Gascoigne will feed. And Hull in possession goes by side, stopped though by Sanderson. Skerritt onto a Coy. Fed Coy straightens up. Well tackled though by Mark Robertson, Paul Bishop. Lee Jackson will take this one. Onto Skerritt, goes behind players. Finally has to be picked up by Wayne Proctor. So over on that far side, Hull in possession, Neil Puckering being brought down by Paul Cullen. Goes out with Lee Crooks, Crooks with the kick. And that's a good one. And this is just beating Paul Ford. Goes into touch over on that far side for a scrum down just inside the Warrington half. Gregory will feed. And the referee not satisfied with that scrum. So Gregory will put the ball in once more. And is penalised for feeding. Gives Hull the free kick, which Gary Schofield will take. Starting to place the ball. <laughs> and a safe kick from Gary Schofield. So Hull on the attack inside the one and half. Lee Jackson will take it. Has it on to Trevor Skerritt. And Wayne Proctor gets the ball away. Callan it finally brought down. Goes right this time. A break from Lee Jackson there. Well spotted. Goes right again with Lee Crooks. Crooks once again with the kick to the corner. But that will be too far. And Warrington will have a tap from their own 25. Les Boyd takes it, knocks off one man, gets it away to Tamati. Tamati back to Gregory, Gregory finds the gap and he's away. Gregory now away, gets the ball away to Paul Bishop. Paul Bishop back inside to Gary Sanderson. Gary Sanderson finally brought down. Good break there from Gregory onto Bishop. Paul Bishop this time onto Andy Gregory. Gregory finds the gap once more and Gregory's away. A chance here, cuts it inside, still going. Finally gets it on to Matt Foster. And Matt Foster loses the ball, it goes loose, picked up by Andy Gascoigne. And Hull back in possession, midway inside the 25. Trevor Skerritt brought down by Sanderson. Lee Jackson's acting half-back. Good run there by Carl Arnott. Jackson wants more onto Akoi. Akoi onto Crooks. Crooks though, brought down. Crooks plays it to himself, brought down once more, six tackle this time for Hull, Gascoigne will take it, plays it on to Fred Akoy, Akoy with the kick, comes off Jackson, Les Boyd will have to go back and get this one, dives on it safely, gets the ball away to Paul Ford, Paul Ford, but he's tackled by Carl Arnott, Samati a long pass on to Ronnie Dwayne, Dwayne, he's stopped by Schofield, and Puckering, Samity goes himself, gets the ball away to Carbert, Carbert onto Bishop, Bishop back to McGinty, McGinty finally has to straighten up and is caught in possession. This time Les Boyd takes it. He's pushed back by three Hull players. Paul Bishop, that's in halfback. 
Sends it back to Paul Ford. Ford with the kick. Michael Brand misses it. Gary Kemble picks it up. Kemble <laughs> caught by Brian Carberton and Ronnie Dwayne. Michael Brand goes himself on the play of the ball. Stopped though by Roy Dwayne, loses the ball. And Jackson retrieves it for Hull. Plays it to Gascoigne, Gascoigne to Skerritt. Skerritt onto Fred Akoy, Fred Akoy croaks a nice break here now. Carl Arnott. Vass had a break here now for Dane O'Hara. O'Hara still going, still going. Finally having to be brought down by Mark Foster and Paul Bishop. Good break there from Dane O'Hara. Gascoigne this time onto Fred Akoy, Fred Akoy onto Crooks. Crooks, a nice pass on there to Neil Puckering. Puckering still going, gets the ball away to Gascoigne. Gascoigne finally brought down by McGinty and the touch judges on. Mr. Two Goose. So Mr. Two Goose. Linesman from that far side. Penland is easy, it looks like Bob Jackson and gives the free kick to Hull. Gascoigne takes the tap, hands it on to Crooks. Crooks stopped by Les Boyd. Jackson onto a coy. Neil Puckering finally brought down. Jackson goes himself. Gascoigne once more. Fred Akoy, Akoy with the kick through once again. Hits the post, goes loose, and finally Paul Ford. And the referee. Comes across and gives the free kick to Warrington. Paul Bishop. Paul Bishop puts the ball into touch. Tamate takes it himself. Bob Jackson will take it. Goes himself. Andy Gregory takes it this time. On to McGinty. McGinty goes forward. Takes three whole players to stop him. Gregory's acting half back once again. Sends it on to Bishop. Bishop with the kick. Kemble, and that's a good kick from Bishop. Sending Kemble back, stops in the mud. Kemble picks it up, faced by Mark Roberts. And Mark Roberts brings him down. Michael Brand goes himself from the play of the ball. Once again, Mark Roberts brings him down with the assistance of Bob Jackson. Lee Jackson on to Lee Crooks. Crooks to Gascoigne. Gascoigne, no way well tackled though by Billy McGinty. Lee Jackson once again. Good run there from Carl Arnott. This time it goes on to Crooks. Crooks onto a Coy. A Coy, Schofield. But good tackle from Ray Dwayne. Sixth tackle for who? Fred Akoy with the kick. Brian Carbert takes it. Brought down by Michael Brand on the halfway line. Tamat it. On to Mark Roberts. Roberts. And loses the ball. And it's picked up by Lee Crooks. So Jackson this time onto Gascoigne. Gascoigne straightens up. Brought down though by Bob Jackson. Jackson once again. Carl Arnott. Once again, another good run. Jackson once again. Gascoigne. Crooks. Onto a Coy. A Coy though will tackle by Tamatit. And Boyd and being pushed back. Gascoigne. Crooks once again looking to kick. Nickel chip going through and goes into touch. From the kick from Lee Crooks. <laughs> so the scrum down just outside the 1 to 25, which Andy Gregory will feed. Puts the ball in, comes out on the whole side. Gascoigne. Brought down by Gregory, and a free kick to Hull. Oh. 
So Gary Schofield puts the ball into touch once again. And sets Hull up on the attack once more. Lee Jackson will take it. Trevor Skerritt makes ground towards that Wellington line. Strong run coming in there from Neil Puckering. Finally being pushed back. Jackson. Running around, move it comes onto Crooks. Crooks gets the ball away, goes loose, bounces over the line. And that will be a knock on and a scrum down. So Andy Gregory puts the ball in. And a penalty to Wynton. Leg up in the scrum against Lee Jackson. Bishop. And that's a good kick from Paul Bishop. So Tamati will take this one. Hands it on to Les Boyd. Boyd charges in, knocks off one man, gets it back to Tamati. Tamati on to Bishop. Bishop takes it well. Tamati once more, hands it on to Jackson. Jackson makes ground inside the whole half before he's brought down. Goes on to Boyd once more. Boyd gets the ball away, but McGinty just can't take the pass. And that will be a free kick to Hull offside. And once again, Hull decides to tap. Andy Gascoigne takes a quick one. Lee Jackson will take it. Goes himself, looking for the gap, gets away, and Lee Jackson's over the green. He's got Paul Ford in front of him. Good tackle though by Paul Ford. Good break though from Lee Jackson. Gascoigne drops the ball. And that is a scrum down. So halfway through this first half, Hull nil, Warrington nil. Most of the play they've been inside the Warrington half. Gregory to feed. And Warrington ball, Gregory comes away from the score and finds the gap once again. Finally having to be brought down by Fred Akoy. This time it's Les Boyd. Boyd straightens up, looks to get the ball away, but three Hull players bring him down. Paul Cullen this time. It's acting half back, sends it on to Gregory and offside. Penalises Trevor Skerritt and White and have the free kick. Paul Bishop comes over. Left footed. And another good kick from Paul Bishop, setting White now up on the attack. Tamati will take it. Hands it on to Bob Jackson. Jackson storms in. Play now inside the whole 25. Tamati will take it, hands it on to Les Boyd. Tamati once again waiting. This time again he goes in. Wattington inching closer to that whole line. Goes left this time with Gregory. Gregory on to Mark Roberts. Mark Roberts looking for the guy who's going for the try as there. And Mark Roberts opens the scoring. The first try of the game going to Mark Roberts, nicely made by Andy Gregory. And Warrington take the lead, four points to nil. So Warrington take the lead with the Mark Roberts try, so Paul Bishop to try and convert the matter of its try. <laughs> so Paul Bishop, left footed, it curls in nicely and he's in off the post. A nice kick from Paul Bishop. Six, Makes the score Hull nil, Warrington six. Hey, 
So 22 minutes gone in this first half and Warrington leading six points to nil. Ronnie Dwayne picks this one up, gets away from Fred Akoy nearly. Fred brings him down. Gregory hands it on to Bob Jackson. Samity from the plate of the ball, hands it on to Les Boyd. Boyd juggles with it and hold back in possession. Jackson, nicely taken though, Fred Akoy. Lee Jackson will take it, hands it on to Andy Gascoigne. Gascoigne though, good tackle by Bob Jackson. Lee Jackson once again, goes right this time, Chris Arnott. Arnott though, nice tackle by Kevin Tamati and Andrew Gregory. Lee Jackson once again, this time, Neil Puckering. Puckering though, well stopped by Ronnie Dwayne and Andy Gregory. Gascoigne this time onto a Coy. Dwayne propped up, and that's the sixth tackle. And that is Warrington in possession from the turnover. Goes on to Les Boyd. Boyd straightens up. Tamati from the play of the ball. Hands it on to Gregory. Gregory jinking about, looking for the gap. Tamati once more. Gant, Reese Anderson. This time McGinty. McGinty though will tackle by Neil Puckering. Samsey once more, on to Gregory, to Bishop, back to Gregory, on dummies, gets the ball back, Bishop picks it up, throws the ball back, chance now here, Billy McGinty looking for the gap, just brought down, gets back up, still going, inside the hole, 25 before he's brought down, six tackle. So six tackle now, just inside the hole, 25, Tamati, Bishop, sets himself up for the drop goal on the floor though, poor effort, Mark Foster comes in quickly, the ball goes loose. And offside given against Mark Foster. Gives Hull the free kick. So Gary Schofield puts the ball into touch over on that far side. Hull in possession. Jackson will take it. Trevor Skerritt. Good tackle there from Les Boyd and Bob Jackson on Neil Puckering. This time it goes left. The ball. Taken finally by Jackson. This time it's Lee Crooks. Crooks. Stopped by Sanderson. Jackson takes it onto Akoy. Akoy with the kick through. Nicely taken by Jackson. Jackson finally brought down by Stuart Vass. Gregory. Sanderson. Tamati once again has it on to Boyd. Boyd knocks off one man, still going. Gets the ball to Tamati. Tamati now has got a break, has it on to Dwayne. Dwayne takes it nicely. Brian Carver, but just couldn't take the pass. Had the lines his mercy, but the pass was fumbled. And Hull making a substitution. Phil Edmonds comes on, and Lee Crooks will leave the field. So a scrum down midway side, the whole 25. Gascoigne will feed. Hull in possession. Gascoigne still going, finally brought down by Gary Sanderson. First touch for Phil Edmonds. Jackson this time. A poor pass. Having to picked up by Fred Akoy. And Akoy nicely tackled by Gary Sanderson. Lee Jackson on to Skerritt. 
Skerritt once again, well tackled. Ronnie Dwayne and Kevin Tamato. And it's... So, six tackle for Hull in midfield. Goes on to Phil Edmonds. McCoy, long pass out, Dane O'Hara. O'Hara is brought down. And that is the sixth tackle. And that... The scrum down over on that far side, Dane O'Hara in touch. So... Gregory. <laughs> so, the front rows meet once more. Gregory feeds and is penalised. <laughs> and Hull have the free kick. Schofield, once again, puts the ball into touch. So, set move now. Goes on to Skerritt. Lee Jackson goes himself on the play the ball, looks for the gap. Carl Arnott, well tackled over by Jackson, and the touch judges on. Mr. Bradley, play carries on. And Mr. Bradley comes onto the field. And Mark Roberts, it looks like, is being called across by the referee, Mr. Tennant of Castleford. And Warrington penalised. And Hull have the chance to open their account. So, Guy Schofield directly in front of the posts. Comes up. And puts the ball safely through. And Hull pulled two points back. It's Hull FC 2, Warrington 6. So Warrington will restart with Paul Bishop. Kicks deep, Michael Brand knocks the ball on. So, Warrington with a chance now, if they can get this ball from this scrum, to put Hull under pressure. An important scrum for both sides, after Michael Brand knocks on, and Gregory will feed. Puts the ball in, comes out on the way to the side, Bishop, Bishop onto Dwayne, back to Bishop, Bishop looks for the gap and finds it. Gets the ball on to Paul Cullen. Paul Cullen stops short of the line by Dane O'Hara. Trying to play the ball. Sanderson just stopped though. Hand on his back. And that would be a scrum down. Gascoigne puts the ball in. Puts the ball in again, comes out on the way to side. Gregory looking for the gap. Still going and pushed into touch. <laughs> so once again, another scrum down over on that far side. Gascoigne puts the ball in once more. And the scrum will refine once more. <laughs> so 
So Gascoigne puts the ball in again, comes out and goes blindside. Dane O'Hara will take this one. And the free kick to Hull. And another 10 yards for talking. So Hull, a chance to make a few more yards with Guy Schofield. Let's take this free kick. Schofield. And it looks a poor kick. Paul Ford takes it nicely. Comes in field, still going. So Winton in possession. Tamati hands it on to Gregory. Gregory. Bishop took it well. Good tackle by Fedakoy. Gregory once again goes himself, looks for the gap, and finds it once again. This time it's Tamsi sends it right on to Paul Bishop. Bishop to Sanderson. Sanderson finds the gate. On, Sanderson still going. Good break there from Gary Sanderson. Wanting to now on the attack. Tamsi hands it on to Bishop. Bishop to Gregory. Gregory, nice pass out of Chassé for Les Boy, he's going for the corner. He goes back inside. And a try to Les Boy. Les Boy there, powers through to score in the corner. And makes the score, Warrington 10, Hull FC 2. So Les Boyd scores one to the second try. Takes them into a 10 points to 2 0 lead. And Paul Bishop wants the game with a difficult kick on this near side to the left of the posts. So Paul Bishop once again comes up, left footed, but this time it goes to the left of the posts. So five minutes remaining, Hull 2, Warrington 10 in this first half. So, Gary Schofield to restart. Safety taken by Mark Roberts. And Tamati will take this one. Sanderson looks for the gap once more. Just Phil Edmonds catches his legs as he's going through. Tamati once again hands it on to Gregory. Gregory once again on to Boyd. Boyd but to Bishop. Bishop to McGinty. McGinty on to Cullen. Cullen. Still going on to Dwayne. Dwayne now he's got space. Still going. That gets away from one tackle. Still going. Gets away from Michael Brad. Gets out to Cullen. Cullen on this near side. Great play there from the wire. Sending play inside the whole 25. Tavity this time. Hands it on to Les Boyd. Les Boyd on to Bishop. Bishop cuts back inside. Finally caught in possession. Tavity from the play of the ball. Goes himself. Hands it on to Gregory. Gregory gets the ball away. Paul Cullen. Cullen straightens up. Samity throws it away, Gregory with the kick through, Matt Foster's going for it in that corner, it bounces and Foster's diving effort, unsuccessful and the ball goes dead and Hull have a tap from their own 25. Fedakoy then takes the tap, hands it on to Trevor Skerritt. Gas going this time. Carl Arnott, well tackled by Ball Bishop and Ronnie Dwayne. Lee Jackson this time, on to Gascoigne. Gascoigne goes himself, looks at the gap, but meets Les Boyd and Gary Sanderson. Jackson sends it left with a coy. Good tackle though from Mark Roberts.
Gascoigne once more. Trevor Skerritt. Still six tackle for Hull. Freda Coy with the kick. Looks a good one. Matt Foster though is there. Takes it safely. And brought down by Freda Coy. Paul Bishop takes this one from the play of the ball. Hands it on to Paul Ford. Paul Ford straightens up. Brought down by Fred Coy and Phil Edmonds. Tamati on to Gregory. Gregory looks for the gap and finds it again. Gregory way on to Les Boyd. Boyd knocks one man off. Still going. Hands it on to Dwayne. Ryan Dwayne charges through. Nice break again from Warrington. Ryan Dwayne finally being brought down by Gary Kemble. Les Boyd on to Gregory once more. But this time Gregory can't take the pass. And knocks the ball on. And a scrum down. So a scrum down just outside the Hull 25. Andy Gascoigne puts the ball in. It comes out. Paul Bishop picks it up for Warrington. Come on, Straightens come up. In. Gets the ball away. A chance now here for Sanderson. Brought down, though by Gary Kemble. Billy McGinty this time, hands it on to Gregory once more. Graham makes a few yards before he's brought down. Tamati hands it on to Bob Jackson. Once again, Jackson makes a few yards. And she closes to that whole line. This time it's Les Boyd. Boyd next off one man. The ball. No, oh, just couldn't get this pass out. Tamati to Gregory. Gregory, dummies, still going. Couldn't get the pass away, six tackle. Tamati from the play of the ball, hands it on to Paul Bishop. Bishop with the kick. Goes for it himself. Goes loose and finally it's Phil Edmonds who has to punch the ball clear. And in fact, there goes the half time hoot up. And at half time, it's Hull FC 2, Warrington 10. Tries for Warrington coming from Les Boyd and Matt Roberts. One conversion from Paul Bishop, Hull's two points. A Gary Schofield penalty. So as the team's going at half time, the score Hull FC 2, Warrington 10. in return for this second half leading by 10 points to two tries from Mark Roberts and Les Boyd one conversion from Paul Bishop Hull's points going from a guy Schofield penalty Warrington no substitutions made at half time Still waiting for Hull to take the field.
And finally the Hull FC team do reappear for the second half. So it'll be Hull who will restart the game. At the moment losing by 10 points to 2 and Gary Schofield gets the second half underway. Paul Bishop takes it safely and hands it on to Matt Foster. Matt Foster, he's brought down. Tamat it from the play of the ball, takes it to himself. And three Hull players are there to stop him. Gregory this time is acting halfback. Sends it left on to Bob Jackson. Tamsey hands it on to Boyd. Boyd looks to the gap. Brought down low by Trevor Skerritt. Tamsey once again to Gregory. And the referee. Penalises Les Boyd for not playing the ball correctly. And Gary Schofield puts the ball into touch and sets them up in the early minutes of the second half on the attack inside the 125. Jackson as he turns to Trevor Skerritt. Skerritt well tackled by Bob Jackson. Lee Jackson for Hull. But loses the ball and nicely spotted there from Les Boyd. Spotted that very nicely as the Hull had no acting half. By this time it's Gregory looking for the gap. But well tackled. This time it's Sanderson. Clears his 25. Tamat it this time. And offside against Gary Schofield. And Andy Gascoigne gives Wenton the free kick. Wenton have an injury at the moment to Bob Jackson. As Paul Bishop puts that ball safely into touch. So Warrington, just a couple of yards inside their own half. Les Boyd beats one tackle, finally having to be brought down by Andy Gascoigne. Tamat it onto Gregory. Gregory dummies onto Mark Roberts. Mark Roberts sets three whole players to stop him. Tamat it sends it left onto Bishop. Bishop onto Sanderson. Tamat it once more. Out to Andy Gregory. Gregory looks for the gap once more, finds it. Well tackled by Lee Jackson. This time it's on to Bishop. Bishop back to Cullen. Cullen is caught. And that's a sixth tackle for Warrington. Goes on to Bishop. Bishop with the kick. And nicely taken is a plate here now. Well tackled though by Paul Ford and Paul Cullen. On Carl Arnott, but Dane O'Hara. Andy Gascoigne hands it on to Fred Akoy. Akoy, Proctor, Proctor knocks two men off, still going. Cole once again over that far side. Neil Puckering, he's held by Mark Roberts. Plays the ball. Gascoigne, scary back to Gascoigne onto a Coley. Schofield did well to take it, nicely tackled by Paul Bishop. Gascoigne once more sends it left onto Fred Coy and offside against Andy Gregory. And Paul Cullen. And Gary Schofield puts the bar into touch and sets Hull now up on the attack. Looking for the quick score after half time. So put themselves back into this game. Jackson will take it. Hands it on to Trevor Skerritt. Skerritt, they'll tackle by Jackson. Hold then. Phil Edmonds, substitute, charges in. Still going. 
and she's closer to the Warrington line trying to play the ball the ball goes loose finally Jackson falls on the ball and offside and Warrington have the free kick offside against Lee Jackson quickly taken by Tamata and the pass knocked away and has been picked up So Warrington inside their own 25. Tamati is acting half back. Hands it on to Bob Jackson. Once again, from the play, the ball goes himself. And in fact, loses the ball. And the referee comes in. And talking to Kevin Tamatit and calls him over. And his penalty is for the punch in the tackle. And Paul have the free kick. Guy Schofield, a chance to pull two points back for Hull. And a poor kick there from Guy Schofield, puts it to the wide of the posts. And the score remains, Hull FC 2, Warrington 10. So, a drop out from their own 25 for Warrington. Paul Bishop takes it, Andy Gascoigne's underneath it, takes it safely. Goes across field, still going. Finally brought down by Paul Cullen. Lee Jackson charging in his Neil Puckering. Lee Jackson once again sends it right onto Trevor Skerritt. Skerritt. Well tackled by Tamati. Phil Edmonds, Fedder Coy. Wayne Proctor. Lee Jackson acting half back once again. Arnott. Six tackle this time then for Hull. Gascoigne onto a coy. Back to Gascoigne. Long pass out. Kemble linking up. Hands it on to Dane O'Hara. O'Hara well tackled by Mark Foster and Cornwall gets away. Gets it on now to Andy Gascoigne. He's got Paul Ford to beat. Well tackled by Paul Ford. Andy Gascoigne going for the corner, Paul Ford covered well and took him out nicely. But Daniel O'Hara got out with two tackles to set that full attack up. But a nice saving tackle from Paul Ford. Gregory feeds and a free kick to Warrington. Foot up in the scrum. So Paul Bishop once again safely puts the ball into touch on this near side. Samatic has it on to Bob Jackson. Jackson goes in. Samatic has it on to Les Boyd. Boyd. the ball, not back, finally having to be picked up by Paul Ford, Ford straightens up and finds the break, Paul Ford away, he's got Paul Bishop up with him, finds the pass nicely, Paul Ford, on to Paul Bishop, but his pass is taken by Kemble, and Kemble is finally tackled by Sanderson, trying to play the ball, comes away, Wayne propped up, Paul then back in possession, Neil Pucker in, Lee Jackson will take this one for Hull. 
Trevor Skerritt. Well stopped by Paul Cullen and Andy Gregory. Lee Jackson onto Gascoigne. Gascoigne drops the ball but goes backwards. And well tackled by Paul Cullen. Sixth tackle then for Hull. Still midway inside their own half. Jackson hands it on to Fred Akoy. Akoy faced by Cullen. Gets the ball away to Phil Edmonds. Edmonds, his pass is taken, loses the ball. Les Boyd now. Les Boyd looking for the gap. Knocks one man off. Gets the ball away and nicely taken there. He's juggled with it. Gary Sanderson, but held on to it well. This time it's Gregory. Gregory still going. Jinking about. Hands it on to Ronnie Dwayne. Dwayne going for the corner. Still going. And finally into touch. Mr. Bradley's flag goes into the air. And a scrum down over on that far side of Johnny Dwayne. It's put into touch. So an important scrum for both sides as the scrum collapses. And Hull have the free kick. Once again, Gary Schofield. Puts the ball safely into touch. No, it doesn't. Yes. So the tap, Jackson. And the ball is lost. And White's are back in possession. Ronnie Dwayne going across field, straightens up, gets the ball away. And Warrington back in possession. Inside the whole 25, he goes on to Gregory. Gregory, dummies, cuts back inside, looking for the gaps away. Hands the ball away. And Paul Cullen just stopped. Samity from the play, the ball goes himself. Finally, Paul Bishop is caught. Samity once again to Gregory. Gregory, reverse pass taken by Boyd. Boyd to Sanderson. Sanderson, his pass is taken by Jackson. Jackson straightens up. Still going, stopped short of the whole line. Samity will take this one. Sends it out left with Gregory to Cullen. Back to Gregory, looking for the gap once again. Gets the ball away. So, six tackle this time. Bishop sets himself up for the drop goal. Hits the post, it rebounds. Paul Fuller's going for it. It bounces awkwardly and Hull back in possession. Lee Jackson will take this one for Hull. Hands it on to Fred Akoy. Akoy, Akoy though, well tackled. Oh, then, midway inside the run, 25, Lee Jackson. From the play, the ball goes himself. Akoy to Skerritt. And Bob Jackson tackles Carl Arnott with the assistance of Tamati on the 25-yard line. And this is a sixth tackle for Hull. It goes back to Fred Akoy. Akoy onto Gary Kemble. Kemble with the kick. Paul Ford takes it safely. Comes away with it. He's got Mark Foster to his left. And passes to him, Mark Foster. Paul Ford once again. Looking for the gap once more and gets away from a tackle again. Paul Floyd's got the full back, he has it onto Tamati. Tamati now he's got Les Boyd with him. Les Boyd powering to the post. And he's just stopped short. What a nice break from Paul Ford. But Royton now on the whole line. Tamati. Tamati onto Paul Bishop. Bishop with the pass taken by Roy Dwayne. And he's there. And Winston <laughs> with the try, and it's Mark Foster who comes up with the ball, and it's Mark Foster who scores Winston's third try. And Mark Foster injured. Mark Foster injured. After crashing over for Warrington's third try. And Warrington. And Hull. About to make substitutions. 
And for Warrington, Les Boyd leaves the field to be replaced by Tom Gittins. And Les Boyd leaves the field. Meanwhile, Paul Bishop kicks his second goal. And Lee Crooks for Hull returns and off goes Neil Puckering. So it's Hull 2, Warrington 16. And Neil Puckering looks in some pain in the middle of the field, having to be helped from the field. So Neil Puckering being helped from the field. Getting a good round of applause from the Hull contingent. But the score is Hull FC 2, Warrington 16. And that kick-off is taken safely by the tri-scorer, Mark Foster. Goes across field. Tamati hands it on to substitute Tommy Gittins. Tamati once more. This time it's Gregory, Sanderson, looking for the gap once more, just couldn't get the ball away to Mark Roberts. Once again, Tamati hands it on to Gregory. Gregory looking for the gap once more and finds it again. Gregory's away, he's got players with him, still going, cuts it back inside to Gittins. Gittins on to Paul Bishop. Bishop though, well tackled, six tackle though for Warrington. Tamati, with the kick, it's a good one. Hangs in the air and Lee Crooks takes it. Jackson has it on to Wayne Proctor. Proctor's stopped on the 25-yard line by Paul Cullen and Paul Bishop. Out to Lee Crooks. Crooks can't hold it and went to back in possession with Tommy Gittins. Tamati sends it left. Sanderson. So Warrington on that far side, now on the attack, Tamati sends it on to Bishop, Bishop to Gregory, Gregory on to Mark Roberts, coming in on the burst, but just couldn't get his pass away. This time it's Paul Ford, on to Gittins, Gittins on to Paul Bishop, Bishop looking for the gap, gets it away to Sanderson, Sanderson going for the line, stopped though by Lee Crooks, six tackle then for Warrington. It goes back to Bishop, lines himself up for the drop goal once again. And it's uh, there. <laughs> so, Matt Foster leaves the field to be replaced by Steve Peters. As Warrington now leading Hull by 17 points to two. So, Schofield restarts, it looks a good kick, and it is. And a scrum down midway inside the Warrington 25. Hull FC 2, Warrington 17. And Hull. About to make a substitution, James Lulawai comes on. And Lee Jackson leaves the field. Gregory feeds, Warrington in possession. Gregory goes by side, but the referee calls him back. So Gregory puts the ball in once again. Lee in possession, pull. Gascoigne. Fred Akoy hands it on to Dean O'Hara. O'Hara on to Luluai. Luluai well tackled though by Paul Bishop. Fred Akoy once more sends it out to Lee Crooks. Crooks, a long pass and intercepted by Brian Carbett. Carbett trying to get away from the tackles. 
Will Owington back in possession. This time it goes on to Dwayne. Samson felt to play the ball to Tommy Gittins. Gittins looks at the gap and finds it. What? His ankle's just clipped by Phil Edmonds. Gregory once again. Long pass on to Mark Roberts. Bishop to Gregory. Gregory once more on to Paul Cullen. Cullen, no. Gregory once again with the kick. Comes off the whole play up. And he has going. <laughs> so we're scrunting down. A couple of yards inside the whole half. Gregory to feed. Comes out on the whole side with Gascoigne. Gascoigne stopped by Gregory. Fred Akoy this time. Hands it on to Crooks. Crooks. Crooks is stopped by Robertson Jackson. Fred Akoy once again sends it right onto Skerritt. Skerritt finds the gap but no support coming up on his left hand side. Akoy. Arnott. Fred Akoy once again a long pass out. Gascoigne to Crooks. Crooks onto well taken by Vass onto O'Hara. O'Hara's now got space. Sanderson's going back, misses him. Cullen takes him. And the referee's in. And the referee calls over Paul Cullen for that alleged high tackle on Dean O'Hara. Gives Hull the free kick. Akoi takes it onto Skerritt. Skerritt moves in. It's time. Arnott, Arnott goes to the line and is in. What just stopped into short. Hull now pressing on the Warrington line. Fred Akoi, well tackled, but offside against Bob Jackson. They take a quick tap. Akoi. Once again, he's stopped since he's run the line, but this time the referee gives it. <laughs> and Fred Akoy scores Hull's first try of the game. So, Gary Schofield to try and pull a further two points back for Hull. And safely through. <laughs> Makes a score, Hull FC 8, Warrington 17. So Paul Bishop to restart. Left footed. Phil Edmonds takes it safely. Andy Gascoigne this time has it onto Chris Arnott. Arnott well tackled though by Gittins. Wayne Proctor this time takes place either way to half, finds the break. And Hull now putting the pressure on after that try. Gascoigne onto Crooks. Crooks, a nice pass, it goes loose. Valley picked up by Kemble. Kemble still going, gets the ball away to O'Hara. O'Hara can't take it, and the ball goes into touch. And that will be a scrum down. <laughs> 
So Gregory puts the ball in and he'll have to do it all over again. Referee not happy with the scrum. And Warrington in possession. And he cuts his side for the cutting and he's with Gregory's away. He has it onto Peters. Peters, he's juggling with it. I just couldn't take it. The pass from Gregory is he was away. Just not taken by Steve Peters. And that will be another scrum down. So Gascoigne to put the ball in again. And he's penalised for feeding. And Whiteson have the free kick. Bishop then. Another good kick from Paul Bishop. So a quarter of an hour remains of the match. As Tamity takes the tap, hands it on to Tom Gittins. Tamity once more. This time Jackson charging towards the whole line. And the referee gives the knock on. And a scrum down. Gascoigne feeds, and Hull in possession, but well tackled by Billy McGinty. Fred Coy hands it on to Lulawai. Lulawai though, stopped by Sanderson and Mark Roberts. Gascoigne once again, Arnott. Arnott pushed back by Jackson and Tamata. Akoi, Arnott. Fred Akoi once more, hands it on to Phil Edmonds. Edmonds makes good ground before he's brought down. Akoi out to Gascoigne, on to Crooks. Nicely taken by Schofield, hands it on to Vass, well tackled by Steve Peters and Paul Cullen. Six tackle for Hull. Gascoigne on to Crooks. Crooks, well tackled by Paul Cullen and Warrington back in possession. Sanderson comes up with it. Cullen hands it on to Tamati. Tamati knocks off one man. Cullen to Jackson. Tamati once more to Gregory. Gregory on to Gittins. Gittins has got the gap, but can't get the ball away. Goes left this time, Gregory, still going, looking for the gap, hands over. Another opportunist try from Andy Gregory. Once again, beautifully architected by himself. Dummid saw the gap and went over to the right of the post. To make the score, Hull 8, Warrington 21. So Paul Bishop with a fairly easy kick. He's kicked two so far plus a drop goal. And that's his third goal. And Warrington make another substitution. Tamati goes off and Les Boyd returns to the game. Hull FC 8, Warrington 23. <laughs> Schofield restarts. Billy McGinty takes it safely. Comes away with it, clears his 25 before he's brought down by Fred Akoy and Wayne Proctor. 
Sanderson hands it on to Steve Peters. Gregory once more on to Les Boyd. Gregory to Bishop. Bishop back to Gittins. Gittins gets away from one tackle on to Boyd. Boyd to Gregory. Gray looks for the gap, not getting finds it. Gets past two tackles and another still going. Hands it on to McGinty. Was he another good run from Andy Gregory? Gregory once again. Hands it on to Gittins. Gittins back to Les Boyd. Boyd on to Sanderson. Six tackle for Warrington. Paul Ford leaves this one to Steve Peters. Peters. Bishop with a drop goal attempt. This time it goes wide. Matt Roberts is charging in. Well taken by Brand. Michael Brand comes away with the ball. Well tackled by Gary Sanderson. Fred Akoy goes himself. Stopped though by Gittins and Fred Akoy and Tom Gittins. Have a clear argument. And the free kick goes to Hull against Tommy Gittins. As Hull make a substitution. Gascoigne goes off and Lee Jackson returns. Trevor Skerritt. Well stopped though by Jackson. Lee Jackson for Hull. Arnott, crunching tackle from Les Boyd. Jackson once again, Phil Edmonds. Once again, Les Boyd in the tackle. This time it goes on to Lee Crooks. Crooks, Fred Akoy. And Warrington giving the free kick. He penalises Phil Edmonds. And Paul Bishop comes across. And once again puts the ball safely into touch. So Gregory takes the tap, hands it on to Bob Jackson. Gregory wants more to Lance Boyd. He goes over his head to Gittins. Gittins onto Bishop. But Bishop caught in possession. Five minutes remain. Gittins. A long pass. Well taken by Steve Peters. Peters back to Gittins. Gittins onto Gregory. Slip pass out to Sanderson. And the referee adjusts the pass to be forward. And a scrum down. Pulling possession, Lulu I. On to Vass. Vass, though, well tackled by McGinty. Proctor. Jackson once again. Skerritt straightens up, goes himself. Well tackled, though, by Jackson. Time it goes on to Fred Akoy. Akoy to Crooks. Crooks and he's found the gap. He's got Lillowai with him. Passes it to him and Lillowai will go to the posts and scores. Lillowai goes over for Hull's second try. One of the posts. So Gary Schofield in front of the posts and an easy kick. Mets a score, Hull 14, Warrington 23.
So, Paul Bishop will restart. It's Gregory <laughs> holds the ball for him. Bishop restarts. And a knock on from Chris Arnott. So another scrum down. Gregory puts the ball in, but he has to do it again. Referee not satisfied with the scrum. So Gregory feeds and is penalised. So Schofield puts the ball safely into touch once again. Jackson hands it on to Skerritt. Skerritt though meets Les Boyd. Jackson once again. Chris Arnott on to Lillowai. Good tackle there from Gary Sanderson. That's it was McGinty. Good tackle there from McGinty. And the pass is a loose one. Picked up by Kemble. Wayne propped up. Lulawai once more. Long pass on to Crooks. Crooks. And Vass can't take it. And a knock on. Back on by Chris Vass as the whole man of the match. I'll judge to be the second row man, Carl Arnott. But scrum down on the halfway line. Hull FC 14, Warrington 23, Gregory feeds and Hull in possession. Fred Akoy onto Lulawai. Lulawai and Kemble can't take the pass. And knocks the ball on for another scrum down. Gregory puts the ball in once more, and this time Whiten in possession. Gregory goes blindside, looks for the gap once more. Finally stopped by Lula White. Paul Bishop has it on to Tommy Gittins. Gittins takes play inside the whole half. Gregory once again. Sanderson. Gregory's acting half back. Says it on to McGinty. Jackson to Gregory. On to Bishop. Bishop, Mark Roberts. He's caught in possession by Phil Edmonds and he's pushed back. So six tackle this time for Warrington. Gregory. And the kick from Paul Ford is a good one. <laughs> so Fred Akoy puts the ball in. Puts it in again and is penalised for feeding. So Paul Bishop takes this penalty and a poor kick taken by Michael Brand. Gives Hull possession once again. Jackson onto Phil Edmonds and Phil Edmonds escapes one tackle but Warrington are just to be offside. Schofield puts the ball into touch. Now into the final minute. Hull FC 14, Warrington 23. Trevor Skerritt. And good run there from Skerritt. Hull 
mounting one final attack. Lee Crooks. Lee Crooks though held by Gittins and Boyd. Fed Akoy onto Phil Edmonds. Edmonds gets the ball away back to Akoy, but he's well tackled. Jackson was again onto Crooks. Crooks gets the ball away. Now Wayne Proctor onto Luluai. And Luluai will go in for his second. So in injury time, Hull pull the scores closer. Makes the score, Hull FC 18, Warrington 23. Perhaps still this game in Hull's reach as Gary Schofield pops the ball over. And Hull now, in fact, there goes the final hooter. The final score is Hull 20, Warrington 23. Hull scoring that final try in the last seconds of the game. Warrington tries from Mark Foster, Andy Gregory, Les Boyd and Mark Roberts. Three goals from Paul Bishop and a drop goal. Hull. Gary Schofield kicked four goals. A try from Fred Akoy. Two tries from James Dulouis. So from the Boulevard, the final score here. Hull 20, Warrington 23.